It's ah, oh, fuck God. I don't. I don't like it. I don't. I don't like it. That's the new product from Apple. The I don't. I don't. When we, when we play Dark Souls two at some point, I've already made my 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 character to play as in Dark Souls two. Oh, fuck me! I thought he was after me. He is. He just came up and just started. He is stopping. after you, dude. Oh, it's a delightful boy. And you were saying Dark Souls two? Got um, buckle. Yeah. Oh, your fault! Yeah, I've, al I've already made my character for Dark Souls 2 when we end up playing it, and his name is Garfuckle. And he, and he just looks like a, a pointy Monopoly man. <laughs> An apt description, I find. Yeah, open up that gate just before you fucking perish. I'm not gonna perish, I'll be fine. Okay, so one way leads to something yeah that way i have to go right no that's the way to canehurst that way that yeah. way's the way to go okay well oh, they've got they've left yeah just just fucking ignore them i'm talking about something that we started on the last episode though i remember you were t we were talking about uh hard games and yeah. you were talking about um oh, what's the name of it the rhythm game that you really like guitar man yeah and you're like that's the hardest game i ever played and i was telling you like you should try dark souls if you're looking for some hard games because, like, I, I tried a bit of it, but I was just, like, more so, like, I know this is a hard game and everyone talks about how hard it is, so you should give it a go. And you were like, ah, I don't like Western fantasies. And I'm like, that's fair enough, but I feel like you should give it a go, see if you like it or not. And you're like, ah, whatever, maybe. And I think just, like, offhand, you're like, just like... Yeah, well, we, 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 you, I was... I was, like, mooching off of your Steam library at yeah. the time, so, and you had uh, the prepared to die edition of Dark Souls 1. I did, indeed. And, and I just, like, well, it's... I, I can play it for free because I have Dan's copy of it. So I just, like, downloaded it just on the off chance because, you know, it's only, like, fucking six gigabytes or whatever. Um, and I played it, and I just, like, immediately fell in love with it. Oh, my God, I missed that one. And I don't know what it was. What I d I'm not particularly sure what it is about Dark Souls to this day that draws me to it so much. But it's kind of like ruined my perception of quality <laughs> of video games because now everything needs to be Dark Souls. <laughs> not in the sense it needs to play like Dark Souls, but like, what do you mean there's in there? Because I assume it's not play like Dark Souls. <sighs> Most of the time it comes down to... The f a feeling of accomplishment in completing a challenge and just fucking masterful environmental storytelling. Yeah. Like, Dark Souls... Dark Souls' is overarching story, I wouldn't say is all that amazing or all that, like... In it's definitely interesting, at least. There's, there's nothing that... If, if Dark Souls' story was told fairly generically, I don't think it would have been all that great. No. I think it would have been kind of boring. But the fact that, like, the entirety of Dark Souls' story can be... Is, is, is there to be discovered rather than just told. Yeah. I think that's what drew me in. It's a, I, I really do like the fact that it's a world that it just sets you loose in and by playing you figure yeah, out Yeah, just like these, these corpses on these fucking things. You're thinking like, okay, why are they there? If I search around this area, there might be something that points me to the fact like, okay, what, what are they doing in this area? Why are there so many bodies in this area? That might be why Lothric Castle is like, why I genuinely love Lothric. There's so much, so much of that stuff there. Because like, it, there's so many bodies around, and there's so, there's like barricades and stuff like that. And when you're playing the game, you're just like, okay, these are environmental hazards. I just got to worm around them. But then when you slowly mm. figure out like what happened to Lothric, you're yeah. Like, oh, that's why barricades. That's why there's different colors. And it like, it's like every corpse has a story. Yeah. Like I remember in Dark Souls One, there is a corpse that you find uh, at the very bottom of Undead Berg. Uh, Undead Berg. Um, yeah, there's, there's the little spindly boy. Yeah, I love him. Um, I'm trying to figure out where she is, though. And there's a bunch of hollows around this corpse, like, crying and sobbing and, 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 and like, praying. And you kill all these horrors, and on this corpse is a twin humanity. Yeah. And, and you can, like, it's up to you what you can, like, discern from that. But the way, like, I, I saw it was like, oh, shit, that was a woman and she was pregnant. And, and, like, she had died, and, like, these hollows, like, found it, and they were, like, sobbing over it. <laughs> like, that's, that's neat. 
And like, every, fucking every corpse probably has a story to tell if you look into it, because I'm almost certain Miyazaki takes that much care in crafting those worlds. Yeah, he does, that's one of my favorite things about Dark Souls, that it really is just a case of like, yeah, like you said, everything has its own story, and I feel like almost everything in the world, like, every object has a reason for being in that environment. Completely. Again, like I said, Lothric with the barricades, uh, there's a lot of other examples. Like, all the, uh, why there's so many, like, crystal and magic users in, uh, the archives. It's because, well, they, they're researching Seif and all that such. That's why mm. there's so much crystal magics and all that. It, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm focusing on the boss, so I'm not really, I'm saying, and all that, you know, like this. <laughs> I can't really describe. Well, I mean, I've, we're, we're, uh, But I hope I'm getting my point across that, like, things are planned with the Souls games. That the environment isn't just a case of, let's make a fun encounter to play. It's, let's tell a story with what's around us. Mm. Like this, just, Bloodborne in general, like all just, the fact of that there's just a giant fucking werewolf being crucified, fucking love it. But like, you can imagine like the effort that went into, like that was maybe a werewolf that just fucking killed some, because you know how much of a fucking badass is that they are. They're celebrating that they killed something that dangerous. Mm. It's just, it's a genuinely magical experience, these games. And I'm trying to find where this bloody witch is. Yeah, before she's... Uh, she automatically spawns the other one. Oh, oh, fuck me! <laughs> I just kind of ran into her. I think that was the other one. The, the, other, the other one spawns up before her health bar even shows up. Yeah. Yeah, there's the there other one. Is. You can kill the spindly boys. They're not, they're not that... They're tough. not hard, but I just want to... They're not hard. I don't know why I'm avoiding them. I'm just like, eh, I want to focus on the boss. <laughs> Give myself a bit of a challenge. Leave him alive. <clears throat> I haven't killed her yet. Right. Oh, they, the other boss... They go, yeah, they're going to start attacking you at some point. Where are you? Where are you at? I know that one of them has like a stasis move. Yeah. And they, they come after you and you, they they slit your little neck. Oh, they, they are really gross. They're just like little like hunched over women covered in eyes. Like they have cloaks of eyes. Look at them. I think, are they eyes? They're eyes. Look, you can see. It's just eyes everywhere. I, 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 I thought they were barnacles. No, they are eyes. Oh, there she is. Oh, I'm being held in position. Is she going to run over? No, she's not. Oh, there she is. Ooh. Spicy. Yeah, little sneaky, you sneaky. Oh, sneaky little. You clever little <laughs> manx, you. Slap you, silly. I can't hear the term slap you, silly, without something that everyone, like, uh, puts onto the end of that sentence. The gross little attachment. What? Have you never heard, like, did your school never have the phrase slap you silly with my ten-foot willy? <laughs> no! <laughs> that was, like, really common in my high school. Like, people would just say, I will slap you silly with my ten-foot willy. That's, th that's amazing. Have you ne I'm surprised you never heard of that. I thought that was just common. God, you just mashed that R1 button, don't you? I, 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 I play game. <laughs> <laughs> I play game. I think that's, like, all that can be accredited to me. And did, did that one die or? No. She uh, revived the other one. Oh, they revived? Yeah. I know you're around here, bitch. I just saw you. There you are. There we go. All right. Kill the other one before we, she revives the other one. Where are you? Do it. Woo! Oh, well, she's going to run towards me, I suppose. She's making her way on her little legs. <laughs> you did it. I did it. I played the game! You did it, Sonny Jim Boy, Jim Jam Jury. There we go. All done. Nice I don't even remember what this does for me. <laughs> oh, it opens, uh, it gives you the, if you go down the little uh, hallway. Yeah, hang uh, on, let's light this up. It gives you a workshop tool that you can take to the workshop, and you can apply specific buffs to yourself. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, and it gives you, like, an option of, like, four buffs that you can have at any one time. 
Oh, poor guy. Include some that like, oh, you're gonna have more healing items, you're gonna have more bullets on you. You can just do more damage. Pitiful, really. Rune workshop. Like, yeah, what does that mean? Like, why did he have that? Why is he tied up to a chair? Did he do that to himself? It's, there's intention behind this stuff. It's not like creepy imagery. There are stories around here. There's always a story to be told. And I think on the next time on Anami, we'll figure out where the hell the story goes from here because I, uh, I don't remember. <laughs>